Hey everybody. This is a quarantine tank I keep in the uh, shower stall down here in the bathroom, uh, right near the fish room in the basement. And I've got some fish in quarantine right now. One of them is bullying some of the others and I wanted to separate it. So I was going to bring it in and put it in this quarantine tank. But I thought, you know what? Not long ago I ran some hot water in this tank and I let it run by accident. I forgot about it. And long story short, I ran the temperature up about 120 plus degrees. It was hot. So I thought, you know, before I ever even think about putting a fish in here, I better uh, test the water a little bit. So let me put you on pause here for a moment. So as you can see, I'm really glad I decided to test the water before I thought about putting any fish in there. Now I've done a water change on the tank of probably about I don't know, 40, 50%. It was a pretty big water change. Um, but that's not really going to affect the way the tank is cycling back in. But that's the ammonia test, and that's green. I didn't even bother putting it on the uh, against the chart. Uh, what are we looking at? At least probably two parts per million there. And this is the uh, nitrates. Well, it's hard to do when you're looking in the camera rather than at your hand. Um, so we're looking at probably between one and two parts per million on the nitrites too. And the nitrites are bad and can kill a fish even at low levels like that. Ammonia is really bad and definitely at two parts per million can be very deadly. So uh, despite what you see in some places where it has up to four parts per million is only the warning level. Uh, anything above half a part per million and you should be worried. Well, anything, honestly, anything that's showing up on your... Um, test at all that's that's uh, detectable in an up and running functioning tank is more than you should have if you're getting any you should find out why but in this case it's a tank that I know is cycling back in uh, I have pretty much proven that if you run um, you know tank water up above 120 degrees it will kill your nitrifying bacteria there won't be any left so I'm starting that tank from scratch again apparently so there you go always test your tanks if you've done anything to them out of the ordinary uh, especially if it's something that you think probably caused some issue uh, you definitely don't want to just go throwing fish in there without checking that water and making sure everything's okay and the fish I was going to put in there was a pretty expensive fish so I'm really really glad I took a couple minutes to double check that so that's all I wanted to show you just a quick uh, look at that tank and the consequences of running that water temperature up so high so make sure you subscribe uh, thanks for watching I'll see you on the next one